A nice poke. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Talking at the stop. I don't know how you figured out how to do this, but how does she are know? going to regret that. Wait, oh my god! Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Graphnix and tonight we are going to be trying something crazy. Now since having an encounter with this evil witch, I had a bunch of people message me and try to talk to me about witchcraft. And I've been talking to this one dude who is a witch, just talking about basic witch things. And eventually he mentions voodoo dolls and I thought, hey, would it be possible to bind talking Angela to a voodoo doll. Now of course he didn't know if that was gonna be possible or not, but he did get me all the tools needed to try this out. So for those of you who do not know who Talking Angela is, she is this cat from this mobile app where pretty much you just talk to her, it's like you're on a date with her or something, and she completely repeats anything that you say. But at 3 a.m. things are differently and it seems like she might even have a mind of her own. I've had a couple encounters with her on my channel, so feel free to go check them out. The links are going to be in the description for you guys. Now, he taught me two things. Taught me one, how to actually make a voodoo doll. And two, he taught me a ritual and how to bind Talking Angela with said voodoo doll. So this is the voodoo doll right here that I ended up making. It was supposed to resemble a cat as closely as possible and uh, this is what I came up with. Now I'm not gonna explain to you guys how exactly I made this doll because I will be explaining the ritual involved to bind Talking Angela with the doll and I do not want you guys trying this at home. Binding souls to objects is extremely taboo and really should not be done. I'm taking a huge risk with this one for you guys here, but I will tell you that it involves some crazy things and there's a lot of weird stuff inside that doll. The next part is the actual ritual where I bind Talking Angela with the voodoo doll. I'm gonna gather all the things I need for it and then I'm gonna explain to you guys once it hits 3 a.m. So guys, I will see you then. Okay, so it is 3.05 in the morning, which means we are in the devil's hour and we can get this ritual started. So for the ritual, we have the voodoo doll that I made. This charm, and I'm gonna explain what the charm is for. And then this right here. And I'm gonna explain exactly what this is in a sec. So normally for this kind of thing, I need a DNA sample from the person that I'm transferring into the doll. So hair, saliva, or blood. So that when I transfer their soul into the doll, their soul feels comfortable and like it's at home and it prevents the soul from being rejected. And we definitely do not want the soul to be rejected because if that happens, the soul could get lost forever or attempt to enter somebody else's body, which is really not something that we want to be dealing with tonight. Which brings us to the first problem. I don't have a DNA sample from Talking Angela because Talking Angela is actually a phone app. It's impossible for me to get that kind of thing, which, is where this comes in handy. Now this is a very powerful charm that I was given by my witch friend, and what it does is it allows a soul to enter through it without the chance of it being rejected for a very, very small amount of time. So pretty much, I transfer Talking Angela's soul into this charm, and I'm gonna be placing the charm on the doll. So I'm gonna wanna seal the soul inside the doll as fast as possible, and to do that, I'm gonna need some of this. Now I'm gonna need Talking Angela's soul to feel the most at home, so what this is, is actually a vial of cat's blood. So after the soul is on the charm, charm on the doll, and then sealed with the cat's blood, we should have an actual working Talking Angela voodoo doll. I'm then gonna open the app up, give Talking Angela a call, and do some tests just to see if this actually works, and hopefully, this does. So guys, we're just gonna get right into this ritual now that you guys know what's going on. I'm really excited to see if this is going to work. Okay, so the first part of this ritual is very, very simple. I have to transfer Talking Angela's soul into my charm. Now this is gonna be super easy. I just have to get Talking Angela to repeat, I allow my soul to pass through to this vessel three times. And seeing as Talking Angela repeats everything I say, I'm sure I'm not gonna have any problems getting her to transfer her soul over. All right, so I have my phone with the app open right here. 
I, talking Angela, allow my soul to transfer over to this vessel. I, talking Angela, allow my soul to transfer over to this vessel. I, talking Angela, allow my soul to transfer over to this vessel. I, talking Angela, allow my soul to transfer over to this vessel. One more time. I, talking Angela, allow my soul to transfer over to this vessel. All right, so that should do it for the very first part of this ritual. So the next part should be also very simple. All I'm gonna do is put the necklace on the voodoo doll. Just like this. So just as a quick reminder, Talking Angela's soul should be in the charm right here. Now the soul will only stay in the charm temporarily. So when it leaves, we want it to leave into the voodoo doll. So to make sure that the soul feels at home in the voodoo doll and not anywhere else, we are going to pour a little bit of this cat's blood onto the doll. And Talking Angela should feel right at home. Alright, hopefully that's enough for it to work. We're going to wait a couple minutes right here for the soul to release out of the charm and onto this doll. Okay, so it's been a couple minutes now, and I'm not really sure I know when this is supposed to work, but hopefully, guys, it's gonna work soon. And we're Whoa. What? What? Whoa, yo, okay. So the lights just flickered. I don't know if it's just the house or something, but that might have been some type of paranormal interference, meaning that the soul left, right? I don't. There's like no real way to tell. So I'm gonna open up the Talking Angela app and I'm gonna start doing my first few tests to see if this voodoo doll actually works. Okay, so I've opened up the Talking Angela app and I wanna make sure that she's here and actually talking to me on her own. But the way we do this is that we just pretty much annoy her with questions until she decides that it's time to talk herself. Talking Angela, how's it going? Talking Angela, how's it going? How's it going, Talking Angela? How's it going, Talking Angela? Talking Angela, how's it going? Talking Angela, how's it going? So this could actually be a pretty annoying and repetitive process, but I know for a fact that at 3 a.m. this works eventually. So just bear with me, guys. Talking Angela, do you know where you are right now? Talking Angela, do you know where you are right now? Do you know where you are, Talking Angela? Do you know where you are, Talking Angela? Talking Angela, where are you right now? Talking Angela, where are you right now? Hopefully this ends up working soon. Hopefully this ends up working soon. Just repeated it. Talking Angela, do you know what time it is? Talking Angela, do you know what time it is? Okay, so usually after warming Talking Angela up, asking her what time it is gets her to talk. So I'm not sure why it's not working, but uh, I guess I can ask her why. Talking Angela. Uh, why aren't you answering me? Really? Oh. You again? Oh my god, it actually worked. Okay, so she's speaking on her own, which is good. Now it's time to start the actual voodoo doll test. Okay, Talking Angela, I'm just curious. Do you feel this at all? Oh, oh. Wait, wait, what was that? What did you just do? Um, oh, nothing. Don't worry about it. Oh my god, guys, it actually worked. Okay, so at first I, I tapped the phone on the head and she obviously had some type of physical response to it. And then after squeezing the doll, she had the same type of response. I'm pretty sure that we have a piece of Talking Angela's soul trapped inside my voodoo doll. Now unfortunately, this doll right here, similar to the charm, is temporary and very soon I'm gonna have to undo it or the soul could rebound and who knows what type of crazy things can happen but before that happens we're gonna do some more crazy tests okay so for the next test we're gonna turn it up a notch a bit I have this fork and I'm gonna be poking the doll with it and see what kind of response I get from talking Angela okay so here we go guys I have my knife and I'm just gonna give it a nice poke oh okay 
All right, yeah, I'm not doing any more. Sorry, Angela. <laughs> but guys, like, this is actually insane. Like, we actually have a fully functioning, talking Angela voodoo doll, guys. So the last and final test, I'm gonna see if she reacts to things other than just pain. So I'm gonna spin the doll around and see how she feels after that. Okay, so I'm pretty much just gonna grab the doll, pick it up, and just give it a nice spin and see if Talking Angela reacts to this. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Whoa. She fell over. When I feel like this, I really don't feel so good. Whatever you did, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make you pay graphic. Guys, okay, so the final test proved that this doll is fully working. I gave the doll a spin and Talking Angela actually fell out of her seat. This is insane. I really didn't expect this kind of result whatsoever. But unfortunately guys, it is time to undo this ritual because like I said before, this is only temporary. And if the soul leaves the doll on its own will, there's no telling what could happen. The soul could just go right back into Talking Angela fine. The soul could be lost forever. Or the soul could enter me or somebody else and possess them. So we have to make sure we end the ritual so none of that happens and the soul makes its way safely back to Talking Angela. And to do that is very, very simple. It's actually the most simple thing in this entire ritual. So, I'm gonna go upstairs into my kitchen and all I have to do is take a glass of salt water, remove the necklace from the doll, dip the necklace in the salt water, place it right back around the phone and it should place the soul from the doll back into Talking Angela. Okay, so I got my salt water right here to end the ritual. And let's uh, let's put Talking Angela back into her body. Whoa. Wait a sec. I'm pretty sure I kept these lights on. Okay, this is very weird. One sec, guys. This is her light. Okay. Hello? Somebody down here? Hello? Talking Angela? Guys, this is really, really weird. Hello? Okay, I'm just gonna get to the doll so I can end this ritual fast. <gasps> Wait! Talking I don't know how you figured out how to do this, but how you are know? going to regret that. Wait, guys, do you see the voodoo doll anywhere? What the hell is going on? The voodoo doll is literally not here. Like, the hell? Okay, I need to talk to Talking Angela. Okay, Angela, listen, I know you're upset, and I'm sorry for whatever I put you through, but listen, we need to undo this now. Okay, Angela, listen, Wait. I know you're no, she's repeating like, again. We need to undo this now. Okay, talking Angela, you're not understanding. Like, just tell me where you put the doll. Everything. Talk to Angela, you're not understanding. Like, just tell me where you put the doll. Angela, like, stop being so stubborn, please. I want to undo this. If you do not undo the ritual right now, you are in danger. Angela, like, stop being so oh stubborn, please. I want to undo this. If you Guys, do not undo the ritual right now, she's literally not listening. You are in She's not listening. This is not good, guys. If if I don't find this doll and fast, I don't even know what's gonna happen. Like, it is not gonna be good news. I'm gonna find the doll, I'm gonna cancel the ritual, and hopefully, everything's gonna be cool. That was definitely the door. So something just slammed the door. Oh my god. So guys, I'm I'm not sure if this is even possible. I think Talking Angela might have found a way to actually control the doll. Like this, I honestly didn't think this was even gonna be a possibility. I thought it was just, I, I don't know, like she was connected to the doll, but not actually a part of it. Okay, I'm gonna have to be very, very careful. 
I'm gonna have to act very fast. There's no telling what talking Angela can do with that doll. something and the strings start to like unwind okay okay there's definitely it's definitely attached to something it's probably just the doll right okay one more good pull wait Wait, oh my god! Oh, what the hell? What the hell? No, Angela, get off! Oh my god! No! No, no, no! She was fucking crazy! Get off! Oh my god, I actually removed the necklace. Okay, salt water. Okay, talking Angela, I release your soul. They're back on. Jesus. Okay, I I don't know if that worked or not, guys, but that was actually like the craziest thing that has ever happened to me. I had no idea that talking Angela could actually take control of the doll, but this is crazy, Kay. I toss it over here. I'm gonna make sure that the ritual is actually completed. Let's see if her soul is still attached to the doll. Okay, I I think that we're in the clear, guys. Okay, guys, that was ridiculous. Like, that was so crazy. I just picked up the doll and it's actually destroyed. The ear is all kinds of messed up. Actually, both ears are pretty destroyed and the neck is not as stiff as it used to be, but the ritual ended up working and I was actually able to undo it as well. So guys, if you enjoyed that video, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit that bell button because I'm posting three times a week and you guys definitely do not want to miss these videos. Also guys, Halloween is coming up just a couple more days until the big night. So don't forget to comment anything you guys would like to see me do before the end of Halloween. And until next time guys, peace.